Hello everyone, I am Yash from IDBox Creations and today in this video, we will take a look at the tile pose widget of PowerPack Elements add-on for Elementor. With this widget, you can display your posts or pages in beautiful tile formats easily using the Elementor Page Builder. For this, you will need these two plugins installed and activated on your website. First is Elementor Page Builder and the PowerPack Elements add-on for Elementor. Let's go ahead and see how you can use this widget. Open the page where you want to add the tile post. Now look for the tile post widget. Make sure you see the double P icon at the top right corner of the widget. So that means power packs tile posts. Simply drag and drop the widget on the page. As soon as you drag and drop it on the page, you will see your post appearing right away. Now let's take a look at the customizations that you can make with your tile posts. For this, in the content tab, you can make changes to the overall layout, other post, query, post meta. Let's start with the layout. Here you can choose the layout that you want to have or show in your tile post display. Just click on the layout that you want and that layout will be selected. Now you can change the content position, text alignment, post title, post title length and the fallback image as well. And you can change the image size and the post scripts for large style and small tile separately. Now moving over to the other post option. If you want to show the other post apart from the one that being displayed right now, you can just enable the show other post toggle button. You can choose the number of posts that you want to show and the columns that you want to have. So if I want to go with a single column layout, all the posts will be displayed in single column structure or you can go with any other layout. Now for the query, you can choose what post you want to show in your tile post display. You can go with a custom query. Here you will be able to filter out your post on the basis of categories, authors and post filters. If you want to change the order of your post, you can do that too. Now for the post meta, you can choose what you want to show in your tiles. So if you do not want to show the author, category or date, you can just disable them using the toggle buttons. Now, once you are done making changes, let's move over to the style option. Here you can make changes to the layout, content, title, post meta, post script and the overlay. For the layout, you can change the height and can change the horizontal and vertical spacing. For the tiles, you can change the background color, border type, border radius, as well as the box shadow. Now for the content, you can change the background type and the padding. So if you want to add a background color to your content, you can do that too easily. For the title, you can change the text color, typography and the bottom margin. Now for the post meta, you can change the text color, typography, item spacing as well as bottom margin. Now for the post script, if you have post script enabled, you can change the text color and the typography for the same. Moving over to the overlay options. You can change the background type and can add an overlay effect with a different opacity for normal as well as hover mode. Now once you are done making all the changes that you want, just click on the update button. After making all those changes, this is what our tile post display looks like. Let me know what do you think of the tile post widget of PowerPack Elements add-on for Elementor. If you guys found this video useful, do leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.